What is up guys? Thank you for clicking my video. It is your boy Callum here and I'm currently editing Monday's video. So I just want to talk to you quickly while I'm waiting for this video to sort itself out because it's taken 10 years to even save. I don't know what's going on. It's pissing me off. But hopefully it will be up Monday. So this will be Wednesday's video. So hopefully you guys have seen it already. It was the 1000 rep leg workout and it was an absolute killer so i really hope you guys enjoyed it but yes i look kind of trampy i haven't had a shower i'm wearing pajamas superman all the way but just wanted to talk to you quickly about something that i'm planning on doing or i want to do in the future i'm not saying it's going to come true but i'm going to work my hardest to try and make it achievable Pretty much what i want to do is take my one-to-one -one training to the next level so at the moment i've got three people twice a week which isn't many but I want to take that to six people twice a week or 12 sessions. I just need to advertise a bit more, put more effort into that. And then that should sustain me. That should be absolutely fine. With the online coaching, with that, it will give me enough money to do whatever I want to do. Then I can focus more on YouTube, focus more on like clothing, other things that I want to bring up and make better. But then I also, once I get my six people or 12 sessions a week, I want to start helping other trainers that I know personally that want to do their own thing but can't and they're stuck in gyms or just a shit situation where they can't do what they want to do. They want to do their own thing but they don't know how to start or they don't know how to get the client base. So basically what I'm trying to do is take it from just being me to take it to a platform where I can provide clients for other people that I know or other personal trainers in the Cambridge area and give them a client base that they can work with and make money from. To me, I feel like it's a really good idea because I know a lot of people that are struggling stuck in crappy gyms, want to get out, but don't have a way out. So I want to give them a way out, way to train people and do what they want to do. So guys, I have a dilemma. I need your help. At the moment, it's called CP Fitness because it's just me doing my thing, Callum Pugsy Fitness, really simple. But if I want to get more people involved, I can't really call it CP Fitness. So what do I call it? I need like a decent name. I even need a logo made as well. So if any of you guys make logos, please hit me up. But I need a name first before the logo. I also want to make a website. I started making one, but I just don't have a name. Like I can do my online coaching through it. I can do the one-to-one -one coaching, get all the direct debits set up on the website, but I need a fucking name. It's so hard. I cannot think of a name apart from CP Fitness, but I don't want to call it that. So what can I call it so I can get other people involved? Please help me. I need some help. I want to have a cool name, a cool logo, make a website, get my six people, and then start employing people to do their own thing because that is so sick and I feel like it will help so many people and I wish someone did it for me. So I want to do it for other people. So watch this space. Me and Amy have come to Morrison's and look what I found. Daddy of all burgers. He is a huge burger. I think I'm about to get it. He comes with his own burger bun. Yeah, for a size comparison. Amy's getting normal burgers and this is my burger. Look at the size difference. That is crazy. So we've got some curly fries as well. We're going to make an epic meal. So let's go so guys here it is and oh my god look at the size of it inside got some cheese some ketchup just a classic burger and then some curly fries because curly fries are life but this is my burger that's amy's burger look at the size difference that is crazy also guys i just want to quickly show you the calories that the burger itself has because it is mental. So guys, here it is. Just for the burger itself, 1,187 calories, 20 grams of carbs, 81 grams of fat, and 91 grams of protein. That is mental. But definitely going to hit my protein today. But also gone over my fat. But fuck it. Look at it. It is huge and it looks amazing. So let's do it. Let's try and eat this bad boy now. It's as big as my head. Full moon, half moon, total eclipse. My God, I should have done this as a food challenge. This is crazy. Okay guys, so the burger is gone. It took me just over three minutes to eat it. It was insane. It tasted amazing and I'm pretty full and I've still got all these curly fries to eat but I'm gonna do it. However, if you do wanna try it yourself, if you're in the UK, just go to Morrison's, it's three pound for the burger and 50p for the bun. It is an absolute bargain, it is huge. It can feed a whole family, but I'm a beast, so I eat it myself. 
but literally it is massive and it is so cheap. So just go get it yourself, give it a go. I probably could have done it as a challenge, but I just wanted to eat it and just put it in the vlog. So it's in the vlog, it's not a challenge, but it was amazing and it only took me about three minutes. Anyways guys, I'm gonna finish my curly fries. Me and Amy are just gonna chill tonight, just watch some Netflix, catch up on power, catch up on YouTube because literally haven't caught up on like Max or anyone like that in flipping weeks. I think we have at least eight of Max Jr's videos to catch up on. So we're gonna do that tonight, just relax. So guys, I'll see you in the morning. Okay guys, it's now the next day. I'm currently in Starbucks, I'm trying to make a website. I'm trying to make a website for my new one-to-one train, but the Wi-Fi is so slow. Got a cappuccino there. Got Amy, and Ryan have a look. Let's do this. Frappuccino had like 275 calories. It was so good. Wi-Fi is still mega slow. If you've been staring at the same screen for about five minutes. Made up on the website. Started editing the video. Getting bored now, so I think it's gym time. But let's go. Okay, gym smashed. Me and Amy are about to go get Buffy. So let's go. Plate number one. It's got a shitload of chicken and some seaweed. Yes. Plate number one done. Now for plate number two. Plate number two. Just a mixture of random stuff. I don't go for carbs. I just get vegetables with lots of meat. Yeah. Plate number two. Gone. Time for plate number three. So third plate, some sushi, pizza, some chips, hash browns. I'm kind of getting bored now. I think it's time for dessert, but let's eat this. These mini hash browns are amazing. Okay, number three done. Time for dessert. I've had enough of the mains. I feel like dessert. I'm going to go for three plates of dessert. So, let's do this. Plate number four. Yes, but they only had a big spoon. No. Plate number four done, time for plate number five. Meal number five. We've got some meat and mess, ice cream with melted chocolate on top. Yes. Solid. So good. Plate number five done. Do I get plate number six? Let's find out. Okay, I've got a sip bowl. Here it is, just some ice cream, some tomatoes. Yes, I'm gonna eat this, then I'm done. And I'm done, time to go. Hello so guys, I'm having six plates. I'm still quite hungry, I probably could have eaten more. But six plates is quite a lot, I feel like there's a lot of calories there. But also, time to go to cinema now, because me and Amy have a little date night. So, I'll talk to you after the film. Okay guys, it's now the next day. I accidentally forgot to record after we left the cinema. But we went and saw Dark Tower and oh my god, what an amazing film. I'd probably give it 8.5 out of 10. Idris Elba is an absolute G and the film is so good. Story is just sick. So if you haven't seen it, go see it. However guys, I just want to talk to you quickly about all the food I've been consuming recently. Because you're probably thinking, how the fuck is this guy not fat? Because I had the buffet yesterday, the day before that I had the massive burger. I had another cheat day this week. Then last week I had another like two cheat days. It's a lot of food and a lot of calories. Just been letting myself go really on the diet. Been slacking, even with the gym, I've been slacking a little bit. I went four times this week. Hopefully next week, get five times. But I've been spending quite a lot of time with Amy because she's been quite down, taking out the meals and just doing nice things with her. Gym and diet, taking a back seat. Haven't really cared. I haven't even been tracking using my fitness pal. Most of the time when I'm not having a cheat day, I've been just been tracking in my head, keeping count of what I normally have and just weighing out food so I can roughly estimate in my head what the macros are but I haven't been using my fitness pal and I feel fine so basically I'm not taking things too seriously you're probably like oh you're eating so much crap you're so bad for your body blah 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 blah. I really couldn't care less I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying life and I'm happy that is the key for me yes it might not be the healthiest things in the world but most of the time I eat healthy I like having a nice balance between junk food and healthy food yes no food should be called unhealthy but realistically pizza isn't the healthiest food in the world compared to say a chicken salad but it's all in balance and I don't really care I'm just living life and enjoying it I'm making gains I feel good and to me life doesn't get better than eating amazing food 
hitting a workout and just enjoying life. I know some people are gonna be like, oh, how can you be a trainer and then eat all this crap? That is so bad. Motherfucker, I'm not telling people to eat this food. I'm enjoying my life. Most of the time I'm healthy. I've been healthy for months, but occasionally enjoy your life. Have some fucking balance. Like, I'm not forcing people to eat junk food, but if you wanna eat junk food, eat some fucking junk food. It's not going to kill you. Obviously, you know, every day you will get health problems and it will not be good for you. But occasionally having some balance in your life is absolutely fine. So basically guys, I've gone on a massive rant, but just enjoy your life. I'm enjoying mine. If you do enjoy watching me eat food, especially amazing food like that massive burger, because that was insane, then please let me know down below because I'll definitely do more videos like that. Also guys, do not forget to help me out with a name for my new company because I really need a name for this fitness company. So please leave me some suggestions down below because it will help me massively. I want to make a website this week. So please help me out, guys. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy watching me eat a shitload of food, then please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.